in this video we're going over the second part of the AQA GCSE additional physics topic of forces and terminal velocity. And in this video we're going to be looking at the example of coins and feathers and why there are differences in the time in which it takes them to fall from the ground. So as we all know on earth if you drop a coin it falls much faster than a feather and hits the ground much sooner. But we have to think about why this occurs. And essentially, the coin and the feather have roughly the same surface area. And so therefore, they experience similar air resistance at the start. But because the feather is so much lighter than the coin, it reaches terminal velocity quickly. Because if we recap our terminal velocity, Terminal velocity occurs when the force of air resistance and the force of weight are balanced. And because feathers have such a low weight, it doesn't take much air resistance to balance it out. And so the feather doesn't gain a very high speed because it reaches terminal velocity so quickly. But with the coin, it's a lot heavier. And therefore, it needs to travel much faster in order for the air resistance to become sufficient to balance the weight. And when you drop it from the height of a human, the coin probably won't even have time to travel fast enough to reach terminal velocity. And therefore, it hits the ground much quicker than the feather. But on the moon, it's a very different story. A famous astronaut once dropped a hammer and a feather at the same time on the moon, and they landed at the same time. And this may seem very bizarre, but we have to think about the physics which are occurring here. Essentially, the moon isn't large enough to have, or dense enough, to have enough gravity to hold an atmosphere. This means that there are no air particles in the moon's atmosphere. It's a vacuum, it's like space. And this means the falling object experiences no air resistance, because air resistance is a frictional force created by the falling object having friction with the air particles it passes by. And if, as there are no air particles on the moon, this frictional force cannot be created. Which means that both the coin and the feather would fall at the same acceleration because their acceleration would be the same and so they'd hit the ground at the same time. Next we're going to talk about the differences between weight and mass and essentially you need to know and it's very important that you understand that they are not the same thing. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter in a material. For example if I have a large body mass it would mean that I had a lot of matter inside me in the form of fat, protein and carbohydrate. And essentially weight, as we spoke about before, is a force and it isn't a measure of how much matter you have, it's a measure of a force created by an interaction between mass and the gravitational field strength and this is essentially how strong the object experiences gravity. So for example, on Earth, there's a higher gravitational field strength than on the Moon, because Earth, Earth is a lot larger and denser. And this gives rise to the equation that weight, which is measured in newtons, equals mass in kilograms times the gravitational field strength in newtons per kilogram. Which should allow us to answer this question. What is the weight of a 95 kilogram person, so their mass is 95 kilograms, on Earth and on the Moon? This may, be strange, this may seem strange at first because you wouldn't think of weight being different on different planets, but it is because the gravitational field strength of Earth is 10 newtons per kilogram and on the Moon it is 1.6. So we just need to do this calculation for the Earth and the Moon. So let's start with the Earth. So, weight on Earth equals, so the mass, which is 95, times by the gravitational field strength of Earth, which is 10, which equals 950 
newtons. And then the weight on the moon equals, so he's still 95 kilograms of mass, because that doesn't change. And we're timesing it by the gravitational field strength, which is 1.6. And this is a bit harder to do in the head. So you get your calculator out and you do the calculation 95 times by 1.6 equals 152. So you can see that on Earth, the same person weighs a lot more. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.